there was a magic solution that would solve 99% of your knit or crochet problems. Well, it's more like maybe 80 to 90%. Would you be interested? Well, there is a magic solution and it ties into today's new sweater pattern. So all will be revealed in today's video. Go ahead and grab a cup of tea, snuggle up, and let's go ahead and dive right in. First, I would love to introduce you to the stunning Solace pattern by Jane Vincellis. It's so pretty. I think we can all agree that knitting is such a soothing, comforting craft. I know it's helped me through many a dark time. Life can be hectic and uncertain, but being able to curl up with our needles and our yarn can really provide a sense of comfort and solace. Solace is a fair aisle pullover pattern. And when designing the pattern, Jane was inspired by the colors of the yarn. This Misa Hughes kit has always been really popular for us. And you can also see it used in the beautiful Misa wrap by Monica Wesley. It's a shimmering fiber blend called pearlescent fingering with a whopping 550 yards per skate. The hand dyed colors give the sweater a nice vintage feel and the boxy fit and the softness of the yarn make it a dream to wear. Honestly, our designers are so amazing. They consistently blow my mind. So this stunning little beauty is worked from the bottom up with the bulk of the fair aisle worked first. Then you move on to the upper part of the front and back and finally the sleeves. And by the way, if you do need a refresher on fair aisle, you can check out our videos on that. What's also great about this pattern is it comes with written instructions, a chart for the fair aisle, a schematic with the finished dimensions, and it comes in 10 different sizes. We're gonna put the links to the pattern and the yarn in the description box for you. Also, you can head directly to expression, fiberarts.com and get them there. And you may not know, but most of our patterns are actually free for a limited time. So if you would like to get notified when the next one goes live, as well as get some exclusive coupons, go ahead and sign up for email updates. So the thing about knitting is it takes time and that's good because we love knitting. But if we are gonna spend that time making something, we want to guarantee as much as possible that it's going to fit, we're gonna wear it, and we are going to get as much use out of it as we possibly can. So here it is, and you may not wanna hear it. I can already hear the collective cringe, but this is gonna solve so many of your knitting problems. Take the time to knit a swatch. I know it may not be your favorite part, but hear me out. You cannot just start knitting with the same needle size as the designers. Nope, nope, nope. Your gauge might be bigger or smaller than the designers, and so your piece is gonna end up being bigger or smaller. Even small differences in gauge can result in sweaters that don't fit, shawls that are enormous, or socks that are too tiny. Here are some reasons you need to knit a swatch before you begin your project, especially for fitted items. Number one, it's gonna help ensure that your item actually fits. You don't wanna spend hours and hours working on a project just to find out it's too big or too small. I think we've all been there. The second thing is knitting a gauge swatch allows you to see how the fabric that you're producing moves, washes, and feels because you are producing fabric when you're knitting. So you can get a better idea of how the finished item is gonna behave. Does it block out enormously and not bounce back to shape? Does it stretch out of shape? And how does the fabric feel? Is it nice and flowy or is it stiff? And the third thing is you're gonna be able to compare different stitch patterns within the same project. For example, in this pattern, you're gonna wanna check your fair aisle gauge against your stockinette gauge. They can vary, so for this pattern, I recommend swatching for both and seeing how they compare. Many folks find that they knit fair aisle more tightly than stockinette. And that brings me on to my fourth point, which is substituting yarn. So knitting a gauge swatch is going to allow you to see how the yarn that you chose compares with the yarn that the designer chose. Designers create patterns with specific yarns in mind, knowing how that yarn behaves. So. If you substitute a different yarn, you might not end up with the same characteristics in your final piece. So knitting a gauge swatch is gonna help you determine those things. And the fifth thing is doing a little swatch is gonna help you determine color order and placement. We get a lot of emails asking, hey, I have these colors that I like together. Can I use them together in such and such project? And of course, we're happy to offer our opinions, but to know for sure, you're gonna wanna knit a little swatch. Try different color combinations until you like the look that you're getting, and then you're gonna know for sure that you love it before you knit the entire piece. So I tried a little swatch doing this color order with these yarns to see if I liked it. This is the start of a small shawl. You can also check the back of your work, see how that looks. And then if you're not happy with your color order, Try something different, try another little swatch before you make your full piece. Now here's some things to keep in mind when you're making your swatch. You're gonna wanna start with the needle size that the designer recommends, measure your stitches, and then you can go from there. 
If you're getting too many stitches per inch, your needle size is too small, so you're gonna wanna go up a needle size and try your swatch again. If you're getting too few stitches per inch, you're using too big of a needle, you wanna jump down to a smaller needle and try your swatch again. You're gonna wanna check the specific pattern instructions for your design, but most designers will require you to wash and block your swatch, so definitely do that. You're just gonna soak in lukewarm water, pin into shape and allow to air dry, and then you can measure. And here's a little tip to speed the process up for you. I made this little swatch here using US size eight, nine, and 10 needles. And to keep track of where I switched to the new needles, I worked little pearl bumps into the stockinette. So I know all of this here was worked in the US size eight, because there's eight bumps. I know this section was worked with the US size nine because there's nine bumps. And then this part was worked with US size 10 because I have 10 bumps here. So that's an easy way to keep track of that. And you can see how the swatch does get bigger as I switch to larger needles. You're gonna wanna make your swatch a decent size. At least five or six inches or more across would be great. This one is actually a little small. The bigger your swatch, the more accurate your measurement is gonna be. Another thing is you're gonna wanna knit your gauge swatch flat if the pattern is worked flat. But if the pattern's worked in the round, you wanna knit your gauge swatch in the round. So here's an easy way to do that. So here's an easy way to knit a swatch in the round without having to actually knit all the way around. What you're gonna do is go ahead and knit your first row. And I'm using circular needles today. And when you get to the end of your first row, you're gonna slide that down to the other end of your circular needles and you're gonna go ahead and knit your next row. So your yarn's over here. You're just going to very loosely pull it behind your work and go ahead and knit your second row. And just leave that loop loose in the back and you're gonna repeat that over and over as many times as you need to to get the size of gauge swatch that the pattern calls for. When you're finished, you're gonna go ahead and flip your swatch over and just cut all these little loops in the back. So then you can go ahead and finish by blocking your swatch. Whew. So hopefully that helps you along on your knitting journey. It's the same concept for crochet as well. It's gonna save you boatloads of time and heartache. Nobody wants to spend weeks making something only to find that it's not what you intended or expected. So I hope these tips help you to take your knitting to a whole new level and that they bring more comfort and joy in this craft that we love so much. Have a beautiful day and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.